over a third of the Earth's surface is degraded, completely limiting the soil's ability to provide the critical ecosystem services that we all depend on. Soil carbon sequestration is the most promising solution for capturing soil because it's low cost not only in dollars, but it's a low cost in carbon. And it's a natural based solution. We all know that soil is where life begins. So we have to keep it safe. Remote sensing has a great potential in soil resource applications. We don't do this alone. The most important part is working with farmers, pastoralists, land managers, youth, engaging them in this monitoring process. This is so important. We really want to turn the whole idea of monitoring upside down. Instead of it being top down, we want it to be from the soil up and with communities. We have already have some experience in soil spectroscopy and now we are focusing on global warming potential of Indian soils. The satellite data is extensively used for mapping the major processes of land degradation. So from our results, we can say clearly that in India, around 91.2 million hectares of land is under degradation which is contributing to around 27.7% of total geographical area of India. These data sets play an important role in generating land degradation neutrality plans for soil and water conservation, reclamation of salt affected soils, then which uh, ultimately will result in greening of wasteland areas and environmental studies and the climate change studies. We need to work with communication specialists. We need to work with you know, safe soil and other people are really good at communicating this to make sure these data, the evidence is included in policy, it's informing policy. Actually, I just uh, took a AI and told him, generate me the surface of the earth with much lesser carbon and with more carbon, okay, just to, to have fun and then, yeah, uh, we need carbon in the soil, you know, even machine learning without too much uh, learning uh, knows this. But I think soil has been overlooked for a long time and I'm hoping that Next year, we can no longer say that soil is being overlooked in any of these environments because we're all doing what we can to raise awareness of the central role of healthy soil.